Tina Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be packing for my beach trip coming up. And I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I use to help me take more than what I probably need, uh, but to be able to fit everything in one suitcase and to keep it under 50 pounds. We are flying to Florida, so I will be taking one suitcase with me and Chris will be taking one suitcase of the same size. This is a 28 inch spinner and it uh, it's a, a suitcase that we got from Kohl's, I believe, or Amazon, I really can't remember, but it's just your basic uh, suitcase. I would suggest that you check with your airlines and see what the largest size of suitcase you can take would be. We're flying JetBlue, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, it has a telescoping arm and it is a spinner and I can roll it right next to me, and which will make it super, super easy, you know, just to roll it right next to me as we walk down through the airport. Excuse me, I am a sight. I have been running around here like a crazy woman trying to gather all my stuff to do this video. Oh, but anyway, I'm gonna try my best to get myself mostly packed today on video here. This may be a bit of a long video, but I will try to speed through some parts once you get the idea of what I'm doing with my packing cubes and my packing folder and so on. But there are some things that I wanna to try to explain as we go. So the first thing being, I weigh all of my, my suitcase and everything that I'm gonna put in it so that I have an idea of how much my suitcase is gonna weigh when they put it on the scale at the airport there. I want it to be a good two to three pounds below 50 pounds and I'll explain more of that when I sit down, but I wanted to show you that I do have a luggage scale and I take this with me. I just put it right in the top pocket of my suitcase so that I have it with me whenever we fly. So when we come home, we'll also know how much it is. So I've already weighed this suitcase and it weighs 8.3 pounds, which is a good weight for one of these big suitcases. So let me get myself around to the other side of the counter here and sit down and I'm going to do a little bit more explaining. I'm going to show you what I have in my carry-on and what I'm using for my carry-on and uh, then we'll get to pack and some of my clothes up. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll be right back in just a minute. Okie dokie, everybody, here I am sitting down. Oh my goodness, I have been running around here for probably an hour just trying to gather everything, pick out my outfits. Chris helped me carry the clothes out here, thankfully, but I have my, I just wanted to show you everything that I utilize so that you guys, if you at all, at all ever need help, I'm sure there are way better packers out there than me, but these are the things that I have done in the past and have honed my skills and feel really good about the way I pack now. So it is 10 of two this afternoon. I'm usually finished videoing by now. So I'm just gonna say this in here. You probably will not see this video until later on this evening, but I'm trying my best here to get it up for you guys. So let me start with my carry-on. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on each item because I have a lot to tell you about. So I'm gonna kind of zip through. I have my handy dandy uh, quart size Ziploc bag. I encourage you guys to go and check out your TSA uh, liquids requirements. You cannot take anything larger, I think, than a 3.4 ounce bottle of liquid, and it needs to be in a Ziploc, in a quart size, not a gallon size, a quart size Ziploc bag. And uh, again, I, I'll try to remember to give you a link to the TSA site. I would definitely peruse through there before I would get on a plane, just so you are aware of, even if you're just flying domestically, aware of what the rules are. For instance, it is considered a conveyance, the airport is, and we are gonna to have to wear a mask in the airport, on the plane, in the airport in Orlando, we're landing in Orlando and until we're renting a car, until we get our rental car, then we'll be able to take our mask off. But pretty much from the moment we get into the Richmond International Airport to the moment we leave the Orlando International Airport, we are gonna have to have a mask on. So that's, we're just, 
you know, we're just accepting that and we're going to move on with it. And we are all vaccinated, but you know, that is still a rule regardless of what the CDC just came out with yesterday, which I'm not going to get into. We're not going to even talk about that. So anyway, I just have a couple of liquids. I've got just a hand sanitizer here and I've got a little, uh, this is a happy perfume roller, you know, that I like to take and, you know, refresh every now and again. And not on the plane though, I don't wear it on the plane, but I like to have it with me. Let's say in the car, we're gonna be going and meeting my family. I may like to refresh a little bit. I also have a, I also have a little holder on my uh, carry-on that has liquid in it. So I'm just gonna put that in here too. And I will put this in the front pocket of my carry-on. So now, usually Chris and I have TSA pre-check, which means I wouldn't even have to pull out my bag of liquids. I wouldn't have to take off my shoes. Uh, that means that the government has checked us out and taken our fingerprints, get, you know, and we have passed their security. We are TSA pre-check. We will have that on our tickets because Chris loaded our, tra our trusted traveler number in, but my dad is not. So we will hang with my dad in the other line. So that's why I'm making sure that I have all my ducks in a row as far as my liquids are concerned. So here is this backpack that you guys have seen before. This is a Vera Campus backpack. This is my carry-on and my personal item. I wanna leave myself room and I'll show you what I'll, I will use for a carry-on if need be, if we buy souvenirs, t-shirts, things like that, that will take our suitcases overweight to come home with. I have, I'm gonna be taking a bag that I'm gonna be using as a beach bag but I will also be able to use it as a carry-on. It's going to be a dual bag for me. Beach bag when I'm at the beach, carry-on if needed when coming home. I'm going to pack it in the bottom of the suitcase. It's going to be the first thing to go in. So let me uh, show you this backpack though real quick. It's nothing, you know, you guys have seen it before. It does have two pockets for a bottle of water or soda or whatever on either side. It's got a front pocket. There's the little liquid holder I was just telling you about. This is my guardian bell that my sweet friend Pat gave uh, to me at, uh, for a cruise that I put on all of my travel bags. And on, when I'm on a cruise, I put it on my little crossbody purse. And uh, it, it's, it's for good luck. I, I don't travel without my guardian bell. She's given it to me. So it'll be right here on my backpack on the front of it. And this is just a pocket that I have. Guess what? I'm asking, I need to get one that'll match what I'm wearing. That's, that's not gonna, well, it would. I'm wearing that um, vest I have, the sheer vest I had on the other day in my video, actually. So that front pocket, and then this pocket is just uh, where my little wallet will go. I don't have my wallet in here. This is my Kindle. I have a Kindle, and I have some books loaded on there. I actually have the Outlander books right now. On there, I just bought the series. I really like Outlander. So I'm gonna be reading that. I've got some lipstick, which I don't think is considered a, a liquid. I do need to look that up. Uh, I've got some earphones, little Bluetooth earphones that Chris got me for Christmas. I've got a little pad of paper and I've got a couple of pens all in this little pocket here in the front. So then, in the big part, I've got one case full of nothing but cords. My computer charger will go in here. My camera cords, all that stuff goes in here. Then I have another bag that is just uh, extra lipstick, tissues, a little medicine case. I've got Advil in there, you know, me and my uh, headaches. I've always got to be prepared and a little compact from, um, to, you know, powder my nose if I want with a mirror, a little compact in there. And that's it. This is a two hour flight. I'm not killing myself to take tons and tons of stuff. It's okay. I do have a crossword puzzle, easy as pie crossword puzzle book. And I do have one of my folders that have our, I have, I really like everything in card copy, even though I have our hotel reservations, our rental car information, our flight information, everything, all of that is on my phone, but I always take it in a hard copy too. I'm not gonna open this up obviously, but this is one of my pocket folders that you can find in my Amazon shop. So 
I always take that. Then I take a, uh, I have a couple of uh, glasses, cases, one for an extra pair of reading glasses. And I'll have one on my head, I'm sure, when I go. <laughs> Gotta go with two, right? Just in case you lose one. And then uh, I have one that my sunglasses will go in. And then the back part of this, uh, I didn't even realize this. This is kind of a hidden pocket back here. I didn't even know it was there. Got a little hidden pocket back there. I can put my cell phone in real quick if I wanted to. Wow, I just noticed that. But it also has a telescoping. I can put this down over the telescoping arm of the suitcase and then just push the both suitcases up to check in. It also has the zipper in the back and this will hold my computer. This holds a, a 15 inch laptop. So this is my carry-on. I love it. I have never found a better carry-on than a campus backpack through Vera. I never have. This is all, these are always my favorites. I probably have three of these now that I've gone through and utilized for my carry-ons. I do have a rolling carry-on that, that I took for our international. I think I'd rather take that, to be honest, other than it was easier in the airport. I didn't have to lug it in the airport. You know, I could just pull it like a suitcase. So, but I'll be fine with that. So it's not gonna be that heavy. So there we go with my carry-on. Okay, now let me talk about the bag that I was just speaking about that I wanna take uh, as a beach bag and also for a carry-on to use on the way home. You all saw this bag. I've, I've uh, got this from the Vera Bradley outlet one time, the outlet sale. This will be perfect for a beach bag. I'm only gonna be taking two beach towels, uh, which will probably go in Chris's suitcase on the top of his suitcase, uh, but this is, a lovely little bag that'll fit two towels and some sunscreen and my cell phone will go in the front pocket of this and it's just a great little bag so this is what I'm gonna be using as my as my beach bag for sure so that will go in the suitcase first I have already packed up our sunscreen this actually might go in Chris's suitcase too because he said he's packing super duper light which he always does so I already have our sunscreens chosen uh, I'm taking well, Kristen actually gave me what was left of this because this is awesome. Awesome. Neutrogena, Connie, uh, my cousin's wife, put us onto this. Neutrogena, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. This is 100 SPF. Sorry, I'm shaking. I have been so busy, you guys. I'm just a nervous wreck here. Sorry. So there, there is, that's 100. We're taking 100. And then I love this. This is 30. And it's got... Uh, Barbara Nobles put me onto this. It's an antioxidant refresh sunscreen mist. I love the spray sunscreens. I don't, I don't care to wipe it on myself, especially on the beach, because then you know you kind of give yourself a facial on the sand. You know how that goes. So, but Hawaiian Tropic, sorry, 30. I'm not gonna be holding many things up for you, obviously. Uh, so I've got some 30. I do have some 15. Chris likes that because he's good at tan. You know, he's outside working all the time. And then, uh, and then a, what is this? Another 30. This is Chris's 30. He likes this. So that's all our sunscreens. We do apply sunscreen every day. So, and then I've got it in my little bag like this that I also got from the uh, Vera Bradley outlet. So this will probably go in Chris's suitcase. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, uh, I wanted to show you what I'm using for my cosmetic bag, which is the same thing I used for Myrtle Beach, and I already have it half packed. I am using a extra large, I think it's called, a cosmetic bag from Vera. They do, they do not sell these on their Vera site, nor do they sell them on the sale that I've seen, but you can go on to eBay, and I think if you put an extra large uh, cosmetic bag, you may be able to find it. So I'm not going to go through everything I have in here. I will just show you. This is the bag I use for my brushes. I don't have real long brushes. My brushes fit in this little bag. And I do have my soap that I take extra. You know, I always take a, a, a that's Dove, I can never remember, cucumber and 
green tea, I think. Love that, it does not break me out. I've got my little bathroom spray, you know, for the, for the stinky times, <laughs> sun and spray. And then I've just got, you know, this is my perfume wrapped up and then my foundation there in the Ziploc bag just in case, because on a plane, you never know, things could get jostled a little bit more. So I wanna protect that a little bit more, you know, so. And then I've just got some of my hair products, my, you know, I don't need to show you all this. You all pack your own cosmetics. And I'm not gonna show you anymore because I could be here all day. But I will, the morning we travel, I will put the rest of my cosmetics in here. And this will be the last thing to go in the suitcase, this bag. Now I have another bag this same size. And in this bag will go all my brushes. My hair brushes, I take two and a comb, two combs. My uh, shower cap my hairspray, travel size hairspray, my dry shampoo, uh, my travel, I have some travel shampoo, verb. I've got uh, my bun, because we all have buns, Stacy and Connie and Donna. Oh, my camera just turned off on me, I don't know. But we all have our little buns, so be looking for a picture with all of us with our hair up in our buns. <laughs> and I've got some hair clips and hair, uh, scrunchies kind of things, you know. So, and I have a pair of scissors. Because you always need a pair of scissors. This all will go in my checked baggage. I've got uh, my hair gel. You can get these little bottles from Walmart. You can go buy them at Walmart. And I transferred some hair gel in there. And that's it. Uh, but all that will go in here. This will not be a full bag. It will just be my brushes. And we'll be able to smush it down pretty far. And it can go into a really... Um, you know, small place, and it's not heavy at all. So I'm not going to, I do what I would like to have about six pounds to work with, thinking these two things together will not be more than six pounds. But both of those will go in my suitcase. Now, this is my hair curler, uh, my curling iron case. From Vera, again, this is old. I just put my curling iron out. I only have one curling iron that I use, so it will go in last because I'll probably curl my hair that morning. I've already packed up all of my jewelry that I'm going to be taking, and I'm using an older 31 uh, jewelry bag that Kristen got me, uh, and she had my, my, name, my initial embroidered in it years and years ago. This is the bag. It has two snaps there. I can, I can hang it on like the, in the closet or on the back of the door on a hook or something like that. And then there's all of my jewelry that you guys see every day. I only have my one bracelet left out. All my other bracelets are in there. I wanna be able to take my bracelet off quickly and uh, put it in the little case to go on the, you know, the little trough that I'll have to put it into to get, you know, go through security at the airport. So there's all my Brighton and all that stuff. So this will, go in my checked baggage usually sometimes i will put it in my carry-on if i have really expensive stuff but i don't have a lot of really expensive jewelry so there's my jewelry case okay now my packing cubes and my packing folder these are the best things since sliced bread in my humble opinion now a lot of people don't necessarily care to use packing cubes, but I really like them. For one thing, I'm very organized. I've never been one to like to put a pile of pants and then a pile of shirts and then a pile of underwear and a pile of bras and a pile of this and a pile of that in my suitcase. Barbara, my dear friend Barbara, she packs the way she saw somebody else pack and she put, like, the, puts the biggest, I don't know, well, I'll have to ask her how she does it, but it's really cool how she does it. And, um, so she's a very good packer too, Barbara is. Very, very, any cruiser you talk to is probably going to be a very efficient packer. <laughs> so let me turn my camera here a little bit so I can demonstrate a few things for you. Already I've talked for, oh, it was only three minutes since my phone went off, but I'm having a feeling I've already talked, I don't know how long. So I do want to move along. I know I'm talking fast, but I have a lot to show you, so... Let me pull you over here. Okay, I already have, this is all of my, 
These are all my swimsuits. See that? And these are my cover-ups. You can see this cover-up. So I have one more swimsuit that I just washed this morning. So I'm going to add it in. These are my swim shorts. And then you all know, recognize that. I'm going to put it in here. And not only are these packing cubes, these are compression packing cubes. See that? So I can compress this down even further. It's going to weigh the same, but it's not going to take up as much room. See that? And you do have to, you know, kind of jimmy it around in there a little bit. There we go. So there's one cube already packed. This is all of my unmentionables, my underwear and bras. All of them are in here. I took two bras, I took a sports bra, and I took, I think, eight pairs of underwear. So all of that is in there. So there are two. Let me weigh this bag and see. I've got a, I've got a three by five card started here. The suitcase was 8.3 pounds. So let's see how much this weighs. Okay, this weighs five pounds, 5.6 pounds. Okay, and then let's do the underwear. It weighs 1.96 pounds, but we're gonna say two pounds. And I'm just gonna round up. So I'll just say this is six pounds, 8.3, I'm gonna leave it 8.3. So far I have 16 pounds. That's with the suitcase too. So with the suitcase and those two bags, I've got 16 pounds. I don't want to go, remember, I don't want to, I can't go over 50 because I won't pay extra and I, and I don't want the airport folks to have to worry about picking up a bag that's over 50 pounds. So, okay, next let's pack up my slacks or my capris, all of my capris. And I'm going to use this packing cube, this packing cube for that. This is the largest out of a set of four. There's the other size that I'm going to put something else in. Okay, so I have all of my pants. Of course, I should have done the shirts first. <laughs> and I've got my pants under here. Now, I just pulled out a bunch of capris. I'm not sure I'm going to take all that you that I have here. But I definitely like my basic black. This is what y'all see me in every day. My black capris. And I'm not going to roll these. I'm going to lay them flat. Sometimes I will roll and sometimes I'll just lay them flat. It's a black pair. Here I have a blue pair. Okay, so that's four pairs right now. We're gonna be gone a week. So I will have a pair on that I can, uh, that I'll fly in and I think a couple more pairs will do me. pair of blue. And I have a pretty pair of royal blue here that I've never worn that I really want to take. I got these from uh, Torrid. I think I hauled them. If not, they're just a pair of, they're almost gaucho pants. So that is about it right there. Now, that is not a lot to put in that cube. That is, in fact, that is very, that's gonna be a very, very skinny cube. Zip this up and look how easily done that is. That way I can just take this whole cube out, set it in a drawer and open it up and tuck the top of it behind it 
and keep them in the keep my all my pants in the cube in the drawer in the room. So let me weigh this 4.5. So I'm going to say five pounds just to round up. Okay. So there that is. And you can see we're just going to put this together like a puzzle in the suitcase. See that? Now, I did have one more here for my kimonos. I really like my kimonos. <laughs> and I'm going to take several with me. And so, I'm going, you have seen all of my kimonos, so I am just going to pack these up. I'm gonna put myself into fast motion, and I'm gonna pack these up real quick. nightgown and uh, I'll go ahead and close this up and then compress it down further found another pair of pants I think I need those okay there they are and 3.76 pounds so let's just say four. That's nine. So I have 25 pounds of clothing right now. Remember, I'm going for 50. So I've got almost everything packed, allowing another six pounds, I said. Let's add that in. Six pounds for cosmetics. So 25 and six is 31 pounds. So I've got 19 pounds. So let me see, which I really don't want 19 pounds. I want more like 15 pounds. So let's see if I can do my all of my tops for under 15 pounds. Fingers crossed. Plus I've got a pair of shoes or two. So here's here is my, and I've got my water shoes. I'm taking three pairs of shoes, my slip-on Skechers that I wear every day, little black, that I have on right now, my little black Skechers. Taking those, I'm taking these pretty pair of sandals that I love, and I am taking my water shoes. Those are the only three pairs of shoes I'm taking. I don't need any more than that. I won't wear any more than that, so that's all I'm taking. So here we go with another magic weapon that I have here, a pack, a garment folder. And this is the medium size. It comes in small, medium, and large. This is from Eagle Creek. You can find all this stuff in my, in my Amazon shop and my travel uh, gift idea boxes. This comes with a kind of a cheat sheet, that you, the card that shows you how to fold things. You can put, as you can see, you can put pants, shorts, tops, dresses, whatever you want in here. And it shows you how to fold them and how to put them in this, in this, this underneath, in this folder. So as I said, this is the, let me move you back a little bit here. So let's start with my pretty little mint colored tank top that I just showed you guys last week. Lay it flat, face down on the, in my case, the counter. Put your garment folder card on top of it, right up by the collar, and then fold it as if you were folding to put in a drawer. And this automatically will fold your garment the size that you need it to be in your garment folder. Flip it over, slide the card out, and there we go. It keeps everything, not perfectly not wrinkled, but it certainly is better than, you know, I have 
pulled stuff out of a suitcase in the past. Let me do another one for you. go and this time I'm going to put the collar this way so that we can alternate the, the collars so it doesn't get bumped up on one side all right and tuck in the shoulders if you need to and one more for you and then I will speed through the rest and come back and show you how we close it up taking a few t-shirty type tops to wear under my kimonos and then some of the poncho tops I got and one I already had and then this is a cold shoulder shirt that I found in my closet that I had never worn tried it on and it fit and I'm like okay I'll take it <laughs> so all you do don't forget to put your uh folder back in because you'll need it when you go to pack to come home and there are vel there's Velcro, as you can see, and just put it together with the Velcro, and there you go. And that takes care of all of those tops. Now, isn't that more clean and efficient than if I had to pack, especially the, the poncho tops that, you know, kind of are flouncy and would get, oh my goodness, they would be a mess by the time I got them there. This keeps them nice and folded and wonderful. So let's see if I managed to do this for under, what did I say? I really want it to be under 15 pounds. So let's see. And it is 5.78 pounds. So I'm gonna say six. So saying that hopefully I have room, when I say six pounds, So I have just enclosed, I have 37 pounds right now, including the suitcase. With all of this, all of these cubes and this folder, I have 37 pounds. That's 37 pounds of stuff. And let's see how far I can get as far as what I can put in. I have no way to really weigh my shoes, but these are very lightweight. I would say under a pound for sure. Let me see if I can... Do this. Well, I know they weigh something. They're not even registering. <laughs> oh, well, 0. 0.12. Okay. I think they'll go in there with no problem. And then my sandals, these are, they look heavy, but they're very lightweight. So let me see if I can get my camera fixed so that you can watch me pile this stuff up in the suitcase and let me show you how it, how it will look when it's all packed. Okay, pull my suitcase down here. Here you can see I have my beach bag in the bottom. The okay, first thing in is always my garment folder. Sometimes you can set them up if your suitcase is, which I think I probably could. 
I've had this folder filled up so much, so much heavier before. Hold on, I'm lay it down. Okay, then my pants. And I just broke a meal. Ugh. And my bathing suits. My kimonos. And my unmentionables. Look at that. Cosmetics. Have my jewelry. And this will even fit both of my cosmetic bags in here. Shoes. Sandals. Ta-da! And I'm pretty much good to go, you guys. Curling iron. And I might even, I don't know about weight-wise. See, I don't know whether I could, I could fit these in size-wise, but I don't know about weight-wise. Because the packing cubes make it so that I can take much more. And I refuse to go over about 47 pounds because I don't want people handling it and I don't want to be overcharged, you know? So there you go. <laughs> Let me turn around here and talk with you a little bit more. And uh, we'll close this one out. I have to find me a nail file. Dadgummit, I'm going to do my nails this evening or tomorrow evening. When Dad's sitting there watching sports, I might do my nails. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, dadgummit, I wanted my nails to be, they were all the same length, but whatever. They'll be fine. <laughs> oh, working hard. But anyway, excuse my appearance again, uh, but... Y'all can see that I am an efficient packer, you guys. I've, I always have been, well, no, I won't say that. I have been since Kristen introduced me to the packing cubes and the packing folder. Ever since she introduced me to those packing aids, I have been honing my skills. And I'll tell you, I, now, I will say that these clothes are lightweight clothes. But you'll see when I go to pack for Alaska, the only difference will be is I'm gonna to have to take a jacket. I'm gonna to have to take a jacket and I won't take all of the flowy kimonos. I may take some of the kimonos that I've worn in the winter time. And I'll take my vet, probably I'll take all my vests and my three quarter length sleeve shirts. That's probably what I'll live in and my black slacks. But for summer, it's, you know, I don't, but I don't have to take bathing suits to Alaska. I don't take bathing suits to Alaska. So it's a give and take, it's a give and take. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one a little bit. I know it's it's been a lot of me talking and then a little bit of speeding through footage so that I don't bore you to tears as I'm folding and putting things into these folder into these uh, packing cubes. But I hope I've given you some hints and maybe a bit of a help to those of you who might be fixing to travel, do some traveling finally as we're as we're. Uh, um, gearing back but, up. I think uh, was... We will be here for a few more days and then we'll be off to Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, I don't know whether I'll vlog when I'm down there or not. So, you know, keep an eye on my community post and my YouTube, possibly my Instagram, or if you've not joined my Facebook group, you're welcome to join there. All links are in the description box. All of my packing cubes and packing folder are in the description box. My Vera bags are not, but you can always search for them either on the Vera site or on eBay if you'd like. I uh, probably won't be leaving any links. I'm in a bit of a rush here. So I'm going to just put this up and say hey, and I hope you enjoy and thank you in advance for subscribing to my channel and uh, for all of your sweet comments and for coming back again and again and again, you guys. Thank you so much. You will never know how much I appreciate it and every one of you. So let me go into my final words and say, hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. 
I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. So with all that said, I'll just say thanks for watching. I don't think I have much mischief with Maverick. If I do have a couple of pictures, I'll put them here at the end. But until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.